All right, so this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make coupons and discounts. Um, coupons are great, right? It's a way for us to stay competitive and um, a way for us to get a little extra boost for specials and whatnot. And on your site, your coupons and discounts are really strong and you could do all kinds of cool things but uh, until you know how to do it it can be kind of frustrating so let's go through you're going to find your coupons and discounts under your store so before you can make a coupon you have to make a discount rule right and so you're going to go store when you're logged in right you have to be logged in it's not going to happen if you're not so mouse over store don't click on it mouse over it and drop down first to discounts. So first of all, if you had discounts in here, you'd see a whole long list of them. And when you're making a discount, in the beginning you're like, I have to make a discount, then a coupon? Well, yeah, because you don't want to have to make a coupon 17 times if you want a certain function to happen and you're going to do one on Facebook so to track it you're going to say okay I'm going to name this Facebook 5 and then I'm going to go to this Jeep group or I'm going to go to this other thing and I'm going to you know you want to be able to to see where your coupons were so you want to build the rule behind that coupon first and this is how we do this so we're going to add a discount click this and here's your admin title. So again, this is for you. So if you're saying this is going to be my five off discount, you can name it whatever you want to. No one's going to see that but you, right? Um, they're going to be default as a discount. And then you're going to decide what type of discount this coupon is going to be. Is this off an order or is this off a product? So when we meet off an order, um, and you'll see later as I go through this, um, you might say uh, free shipping on the whole order, or ten dollars off the whole order if it's over five hundred, or or whatnot, or it's a discount on a product, right? And if it's a product discount, then it's only good on products, right? So we're going to say a product, and this is going to ask you what product is this off of right um, you could say product type and then it's going to say which product type right um, is it off of a, a certain brand that you have on the site and this is all across the board for a brand so this is product and this is order so if I go order what what is the order? Is it off the total amount? Is it off a certain product? Is it off shipping? So um, let's just make one. All right. So let's do this is an order discount. The total amount is what it's going to take the discount off of. And we're going to set a rule for this. So what's the rule going to be? Um, it is, let's just say that it's uh, free shipping, right? Let's do free shipping. If And this is not meaning that you don't have free shipping rules already set up on your site um, but this is a free shipping special you're going to do so we're going to say is this is this less than so if it's less than and it doesn't really seem like it should be for free shipping less than but let's say that it's greater than or equal to they're spending $175 and we go okay attach another condition well if you don't have another condition or you can say or right um, if it's over 175 on a certain product or over 175 on a quantity of products or uh, again so it's kind of really up to you to go what kind of discount or coupon am I making you have a lot of choices I'm not going to add anything. I'm just going to go ahead and say this is just on if they buy over $175 this weekend on all the orders, right? The whole order gets discounted. And then we get to say what, what kind of discount? Is it a dollar amount? Is it a percentage amount? Is it free shipping? Is it a percent off shipping, right? Is it upgrading them to a better shipping? Or do you want to add a free bonus product, right? So, of course, um, this is all up to you guys, right? 
So let's just say, what, what does that mean? Well, maybe it is a product discount, or uh, it could be if you buy over 175, I'm going to give you a free t-shirt, right? So you could hit add a free bonus product, and it's going to say, what product do you want? Now, on Drupal, of course, whenever you see a field that's not a drop-down, and you see this little circle over here, you can start typing something in. If you know the SKU number, if you know something about it, as soon as you start typing, it's going to start going this, this, this. So it doesn't mean that you have to know the part number. You could say, start typing in, whoops, um, bumper and it, it'll start to try and help you out. But it's just a little bit easier, and I'm going to say, okay, so I'm going to give them a free bumper if they buy over 175, and you're not going to do that, right? Never going to happen, but you may have a shirt or a hat or, I don't know, a flashlight, whatever. This is that type of a coupon that, that you'd get. So let's take it off of free of added bonus. We're going to just erase that puppy. And let's say that if it's over $175, we're going to give them free shipping. And this is my demo site, so I really don't have my shipping hooked up to it. But it would give you then a choice of whatever your site's been integrated with. So if you use UPS and FedEx and USPS and all, you know, whatever shipping methods you use, you can say it's on all shipping or just on FedEx, right, just on UPS, whatnot. All right, so now we pretty much made the rules for this first one, right? And um, I'm going to not say this. I'm going to say free ship over 175. We'll title that because that will be easier for me to see when I go back to it, right? Um, all right, let's go down. I'm good. If I wanted to have... Uh, a discount date, right? I want to start this today. I want it to end, uh, let's say it ends in September 6th. I could do that. I could say it's not applicable with any other coupon or discount, right? Or it is applicable with all others. So you're going to decide what you want to do, right? We can go usage. This is maximum usage for one person, overall usage. So what would happen there is, let's say you were going to do a Facebook promotion and you're going to say, look, I'm going to give, you know, $10 off to the first 50 people that use this coupon. Well, then you're going to want to say maximum usage for a person is one, right? Um, and if you leave it blank, right, and it says right here, if you leave it blank, it is by default unlimited, and that one person can use it over and over and over again. But if you did want to do some kind of special and get, get them to go, oh, crap, right, there's only six left, then you could say it's only good for the first 25 people who use this coupon. And that's a really good way to make them go boom, right? All right, so at this point, I have created this. It's the first time I've created it, and I can go straight from here, and I can create a new coupon and not even have to go over to the other side, right? But I'm going to just save it right now, and we're going to go over to the coupons, and I'm going to show you. So again, first thing, what do you want to do, right? Uh, we have to create a coupon for what you want to do. If you have a question, call me. Right, let's not give away the house, right? But there's a lot of different options on this. So we've created one coupon, and we can see now that we're in the discounts or sorry, discounts what it is. And uh, okay, we understand. I can edit this and I can make it disabled, right? Um, I don't know why I would right now, but um, all right, so let's go back over to coupons now. We have no coupons, so we're going to create one. Now again, because I have discount rules in here, um, this was what? Free shipping over 175. All right, so now we have something to reference it to. And because maybe, again, I'm going to go onto LinkedIn or 
over to a G group and I want to have this same rule for multiple coupons but I want to be able to generate that coupon code specifically for what I send out to them so maybe I go face book free this would be the coupon code right this is what you're going to be posting when you go out to there and go hey use this code now what happens is if we did not assign a coupon to it and we just created the discount that becomes a universal discount right it is just there and so everybody uses it they don't need a coupon because it's a discount and so by they don't have to use a coupon code. Um, the little generate code here is if you were going to go on to Groupon, for example, and they go, hey, I want 500 coupon codes created. Uh, you don't want to do this 500 times. So you can actually click this and it will generate when you're done. It will ask you what you want your number to start with, how many numbers you want it to be, and it will generate you a CSV that lets you hand that to uh, to Groupon or whatever you want to do. Um, now, we're not choosing a recipient for this coupon code, but we could, right? So if you had a user on here and you wanted to say, pull up their username and say, I'm going to give this guy a $50 discount because he's been such a good customer, you could do that as well. All right. So next one down is what are we applying it to? A date range, maximum use, we're applying it to all of it. So let's save this coupon. All right, here we are. Now, when you go back to coupons, you're going to be able to tell how many times it was used, right? So if I want to create another one using that same rule that I created, I create another coupon. And this one I say, LinkedIn, LinkedIn free. Again, you could put a number there, you could put a word there, you could reference it to your free shipping, um, and all I had to do was start typing that in, and it's going to look. Now, if I had 17 different discount rules, when I type this in, it started bringing those all up, right? Um, and again, I'm good, I'm applying it to all, saving the coupon. And now I can go out and I can post to LinkedIn, I can post to Facebook and, and tell them, hey, come over here and use this. And, and uh, I think that's just about as easy as we possibly can, right? No, nope, it's not. We have no usage here. So when you're saying, take a look at that, no one's used it. But it would give you more details if someone had used it. So hopefully that was easy enough. Uh, just one more time real quick. You're going to mouse over store, go to discounts. This is the only discount you have. You're going to add a discount, right? You're going to decide exactly what you want to do. Once you've added that, you're going to go back over to store and create the coupon. Or you can create that coupon right after you get done doing it. I hope that's easy. Uh, again, call me if you have any questions. But um, just take a minute to figure out what you want to do is a very powerful coupon tool right and it's great because you can monitor who's using it so all right i'm out of here i hope this helped